So I heard you and your boy Timmy trying to roll over on me today, huh? No, no, sir. We would never do anything like that. You better cut the bullshit. Don't lie to me. Well, I haven't seen him all day, sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. If, if we just calm down for a minute. Do you know what I do to rats? Well, no, sir. It's just... I feed my rats to my snakes. And right about now, my snakes look hungry. Well, yeah, they, they look... For you. Well, you know what? You're going to be my rat. You're going to do what I want you to do, say what I want you to say, and you're going to go where I want you to go. And if you don't, that little boy and your wife of yours, they'll be mine. I'll do anything you want. Just, just don't, don't hurt my son. Do you understand? I got it, sir. I, I said, do you understand yeah. me? Yes, sir. I, I understand you. Good. Now you get the hell out of my sight. Get rid of the other one. But wait. Leave the body because I need them to find it. Yes, sir. So what we got? One force trauma to the torso. That's all that we can really tell right now. Wow. We're dealing with some professionals. Any leads on anything? No. No murder weapons. No fingerprints either. So what happened? Just talked to the neighbor. She had said she had came over to the victim's house to see if he had seen her cat. She saw him lying dead in his backyard. Hmm. She had ran back to the house, called the police. Is this our Vic's place of residence? Yeah. He also has a roommate named Jared Walker. So where is he? She got an anonymous tip. It said Jared Walker's running down I-75 with bloody clothes on. All right, I'll get to it. Yeah, Owens. Yeah, I just got an anonymous tip on Walker. Yeah, meet me on 1606 South Oak Street. All right. Shit. Shit. Man, he isn't gonna stop running. He's guilty as hell and he knows it. That might be true, but we have to catch him. We're not gonna catch him in this maze. So, what do you suggest we do? Think. No offense, boss, but the more time we spend thinking, the further away he's getting. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go in the front. And then you stay right here and bring up the rear, and we'll trap him like a rat. I like it. Okay. If he wants to act like he's in a maze, then we'll treat him like he's in one. Exactly. Don't shoot him unless you have to. Gotcha, boss. All right. Mr. Walker, you know why you're here, correct? Yeah. I didn't do it. Stop lying. We know you did it. Tim was like that when I found him. We got eyes to place you at the scene of the crime. Uh, eyes? No, that's lies. All of them. I knew Timmy before we could even tie our shoes. Oh, really? So that wasn't you two arguing at your place Thursday? 
You never argued with your brother before? Of course we were arguing, but it wasn't like that. He'd be gotten involved with some terrible people. I was just trying to help him. And how could you help him? Didn't you do a dime for drug trafficking? Didn't you just get off for that? And that was a long time ago. But yeah, cost me my wife and my little one. So if you didn't do it, then who did? I told you, man, he got involved with some real rough dudes. Man, they came in, busting around his house, breaking things. Said something about some, he owed them a hefty amount. How much? And why did he owe them? Man, I don't even know, but I do know it was enough to make them want to kill him. Man, poor Timmy, he, he didn't deserve to go out like that. Poor Timmy, my ass, man. Everybody says they're innocent. So, how about you stop telling us all this fairy tale bullshit and start telling us the truth? Calm down. I got it. Now, Mr. Walker, you do realize that this is pretty hard to believe, right? When this is place you at the scene of the crime, you ran where we were called, and to make matters worse, you had the victim's blood on your hands. Come on, man. I want you to just leave him laying there. I'm lying. Lying? No, I'm not lying to you guys, I swear. No, you couldn't leave him lying there. Lying? Lying? What? Nothing. Anyways, why did your neighbor seem so adamant that you killed Timothy? Oh, her. Yeah, she never liked me. Always accusing me of hurting her cats and whatnot. Evil things, man. So, did you? Did I what? Did you hurt her cats? Do I like someone that would hurt her cats, man? That's just unhuman. Yes. Yes, you do look like that kind of person. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay. So, you want to tell me why Timmy came here the other day talking about you want to share some information about the brigade? Nah, oh, man. I, I'm good. I don't, I don't know anything on that one. No idea. Listen, you don't want to help us? That's fine. You just push back on the street. Let them know that you've been talking to the police. See what happens. Listen, I can't help you if you don't tell me the truth. So I'm going to ask you again. What do you know about the brigade? Man, I told you already. He got involved with some evil, hard dudes, man. They will do whatever it takes. You know where to find them? Yeah, I do. Okay. You want this murder charge, right? Yes. Okay. Here's what you're going to do for us. You're going to be our inside source to the brigade. I want dates, associate info, drop locations, everything. I want to know every move they make before they make it. You got it? You have no idea what they do to snitches, man. I'm going to end up just like Timmy. If you don't, you're going to end up in a 6 by 8 cell for the rest of your life. So, the choice is yours. What's it going to be? The offer expires when we walk out that door. All right, you want to get a coffee? Let's go. All right. Cut! Yes. I'll freaking do it, man. Perfect. They took the bait. He's in. Um... Perfect. Now they're playing our game. We'll know their every move before they make it. And soon enough, we'll own every inch of this town. And they'll be the ones to help us make it.